beautiful people i'm tay and thank you guys so much for tuning in to our channel if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our videos if you're already a part of the cb and tay family thanks for coming back so today i have my very first makeup tutorial for you guys and i was nerve guided like seriously but I do like how the look turned out so I'm happy for you guys to see it I was going for I just knew I wanted to do some reds some oranges and I'm like this can either be a fall look or a summer sunset inspired look so I really really didn't know comment down below and let me know what you guys think let me know if you guys feel that this is a fall autumn look or a summer sunset inspired look all right so if you guys want to see how I achieve this look keep watching well hello there so we're starting out with the brows already completed then I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the shade Original to prime my eyelids. Then I'm going to go in with my MAC Brown Script Eyeshadow as my transition color with my Morphe M441 brush. And I didn't realize how dark this color was. I would have opted for something a little bit lighter, but we'll make it work. with a clean Sigma E40 brush to blend that out. Then I'm going to go in with my Morphe 350M palette. I'm going to use that um, shade that you guys saw at the bottom with the yellow dot. It's like a brownish, reddish, burgundy, maroonish shade. I'm going to use that for my crease color. And I'm using the um, Sigma E25 blending brush. And so I'm just placing that in my crease with the windshield wiper motion. Next, I'm going to go in with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk as my base for my lid color so that it pops, so that the color pops a little bit more and it's more vibrant. And then I'm going to go in with that soft orange shade from the Morphe 350M palette. So I'm just going to pack this color on with a flat eyeshadow shader brush. Then I'm going to go back in with my Sigma E25 blending brush to blend the line between my crease and my lid color. So I'm just taking that Sigma E40 brush to further blend. And then just packing on more color on the lid. Okay, so I'm taking this orangey brown shade from that Morphe palette and placing it above my crease because I wanted that orange shade to peek through. Now I'm going to go in with these two glitter shades from the Morphe 350S palette and I'm just placing it in the center of my lid just for a little pizzazz. I don't know. <laughs> and I'm just going to blend out my crease. I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Black is Black with a small angled brush to create my wing. And I'm sorry you guys can't really see what I'm doing in this clip. Then I used the liquid eyeliner over that gel eyeliner and I applied my lashes off camera. So now I'm going in with my Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. I'm just going to put this all over my face. So 
And then we're going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Orange Corrector. And I'm going to use this to cancel out those dark circles. So my um, dark circles under my eyes. And I have a little bit of hyperpigmentation around my mouth area. And I'm just blending that out with my Beauty Blender and my finger. Now I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in the shade Y455. And I'm going to use my Morphe M439 brush to buff that out. I'm just going to use a foundation brush to get into those tricky spots because that Morphe brush is so chubby, <laughs> but I really like it though. I'm just blending my foundation out. I'm just putting foundation on my neck then I'll put I'll put some in my ear so that there's no line of demarcation I'm just blending it out some more with my beauty blender now I'm gonna go in with my concealer and I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Warm Honey. And I'm going to use this to highlight under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and the center of my forehead. Black Radiance Press Powder in the shade Bronze Glow to set my foundation. Then I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, and I'm going to contour underneath my cheeks with that dark, with the darkest shade in the palette. And then I'm using my Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer to bronze my face as well. I'm going to bronze my temples and around my forehead. I'm using my Ben Nye Banana Powder to clean up my contour because you know the faces are looking a little chub so we want to chisel the face out some so I want to clean up under my contour with this powder and I'm going to do a little baking here. And now I'm just contouring my jawline with that Anastasia Contour Kit. Now I'm going in with my e.l.f. Um, blush palette in the shade Dark and I'm just using that li the lightest color in the palette to add a little blush. Then I'm going in with my Becca highlighter in the shade Opal and I also added a little bit of the Missy Lynn um, highlighter, that gold shade. So I added that on top of the Becca. Now I'm contouring my nose with that um, Anastasia contour kit. And now I'm just wiping away that excess powder. And you can see a very clean contour line and it's really gonna help slim the face. And I'm just kind of blending out that nose contour and now I'm blending my highlight and my blush together so everything just looks seamless. And I'm putting a little highlight on my nose. So I'm just lining my lower lash line with a black gel pencil 
and then I'm going to take um, that reddish brown shade that I used earlier and a dark brown shade to smoke out my lash line a little bit. And then I'm using a pencil brush to highlight my um, inner corner with those shimmer shades that I used earlier from the Morphe 35 OS palette. And then I'm just going to put some mascara on my lower lashes. And then I'm just going to spray with some MAC Fix Plus. Now I'm going in with my NYX Brown Lip Liner Pencil to outline my lips. Then I'm going in with my Missy Lynn lipstick in the shade Serenity. And this is from um, BH Cosmetics, the collab that she did do with them. Then adding a little more lip liner. Okay, guys, this is the completed look. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys feel that this is a fall autumn look or a summer sunset inspired look. I'm really anxious to see what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you guys so much. I love you.